Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, I would like to discuss functions in PHP. What is a function? A function is a block of code with name meant to perform a specific task. What is a function? A function is a block of code with name meant to perform a specific task. Whenever we want to perform a specific task, we create a function guys. Let's understand how do we create a function or define a function. A function is created or defined with the help of function keyword in PHP. This is the syntax for the function definition. We write the function keyword, paste the function name, then in pair of parentheses, we write set of parameters separated by comma, which is completely optional. Next in pair of flower brackets, we write set of statements to be executed. And then we write an optional return statement. This part of the function definition is called as a function header. This part of the function definition is called as a function body. I want to create a function which should display high in the browser. To create a function which displays high in the browser, we write the function keyword space, the function name I am writing here wish high, and then I am saying pair of parentheses. In opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket, I am saying echo high br. The responsibility of this function is displaying high in the browser guys. You can see that we have not written any parameters here because this function does not need any parameter and we don't want to return anything back. So we are not using the return statement. Let's create this function. I go to vamp server www directory. Within the www directory, we have created default.php file. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I say less than question mark PHP, which indicates the beginning of the PHP code. Question mark greater than, which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here I say function wish high bracket bracket, opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket, echo high, and then move the cursor to the next line. I say file, save, go to browser. Here I say localhost forward slash default.php. We know that localhost points to vamp server www directory. Within that we have default.php file, right? To execute it, I must say localhost forward slash default.php. I hit enter. You see that default.php file is executed. We didn't get any output there. Why we didn't get high? The reason is functions get execute only when we call them. To execute a function, we must call it guys. And how do we call a function? This is the syntax. We write the function name and then we write pair of parentheses. Inside that we pass parameters if it is asking. Here our function is not asking any parameters. So we just write the function name pair of empty parentheses then semicolon. Let's go back. Here I say wish high bracket bracket semicolon. What happens now is wish high function will get call. The statements inside the body of the function are executed. High will be displayed and control comes back. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that high is displayed. Now we got the output after calling the function, right? So remember that functions get executed only when we call them. Let's understand why functions are created. Functions are created for manageability. That is to divide a larger problem into smaller tasks. We solve smaller, smaller tasks using the functions. We combine all those functions together to solve a larger problem. That helps us in managing the code easily guys. Functions are created for reusability also. Once a function is defined or created, it can be used multiple times. That means I can call the wish high function n number of times. I go back here. I am going to copy this line of code. I call the wish high function once again. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see I got one more time high. I can call it once again, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see one more time high I got. Let me explain how this code is executed. I am going to copy this code from here. I go to MS Paint. Here I am going to paste that code. Okay. When the PHP engine visits to this code, it remembers the wish high function. And when this line is executed, the control is transferred to the function which has the name wish high with empty parenthesis and the statements are executed one by one. Echo displays the high in the browser and moves the cursor to the next line. After all the statements are executed, the control comes back where we have called that wish high function. And then the control goes to the next statement. 
again we are calling the wish high function so control goes to the wish high function executes the statements inside it high will be displayed in the browser and the cursor is moved to the next line and the control comes back to the place where we call the wish high and then the control moves to the next statement again we are calling the wish high control jumps to the wish high function executes the statements inside it high will be displayed and the cursor will be moved to the next line and the control comes back where we called it and then the control moves down that is how the function is called and executed by the php guys i hope you guys have clearly understood functions are also created for abstraction purpose that is hiding the way how tasks are done if you want to hide the way how tasks are done if you want to hide the unnecessary information from the user you can take help of functions functions are used to create libraries also we know that in php library we have a power function mathematical functions we have power function we have sqrt square root function etc etc if i go here and say echo i am calling the function called as power and i pass 2 comma 3 to it you can see that it is taking parameters and what it does guys it returns 2 to the power of 3 8 in this place echo displays 8 in the browser i say file save go to browser and refresh you see 8 is displayed where is this function actually this function is inside the php it is a built in function guys the functions that we are creating those are called as user defined functions guys and functions which are already available inside those are called as built in functions and we don't know how the power function is defined what is happening inside the power function right that is called as abstraction hide the unnecessary information from the user guys i'm going to delete this code i say file save go to browser and refresh i come back to the word document i hope you guys have clearly understood why functions note by default a function returns null in php if you say var dump wish you will see null displayed i go back here i am going to say here var underscore dump i am calling this function called as var dump inside that i am going to call the wish high function bracket bracket if i say file save go to browser and refresh you see that it is showing here null remember that by default functions in php have one statement saying return null at the last okay the last line of the function is return null so by default a php function returns null remember that i'm going to delete this line i say file save go to browser and refresh that's it guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i think for this video tutorial this much is enough i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about php functions for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share this videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial